Well, um, Alyssa, I know like last time we had talked about some of your content, one of the things that came up was, you know, if you repeatedly, you know, when you're doing a backflip, let's say, if you repeatedly land on your knees, that eventually by doing the small uh, actions every day, it'll get you that backflip and that accomplishment. So how do you suggest athletes and entrepreneurs utilize persistence and modeling if there's any like envisioning process within that how do you think they should use those behaviors to be successful when an athlete uh goes to try the 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 big skill that they've been training for let's say for months or sometimes even years and they fall over and over and over again um you know the the best coaches in the industry don't let them keep on you know repeating that over and over and over they actually uh pull back a little bit and go to basics and and re-emphasize the basics so why are they landing short you know so you have to kind of dial in as a coach and say okay well their entry you know in in is not correct or the power isn't enough and so once you examine you know where the flaw is or the weakness that's keeping them from landing on their feet uh, then you spend time in those basics. And so psychologically, it can be very difficult for most athletes to actually accept the fact that they have to go back to basics because they really look at it as a negative, kind of like, what's wrong with me? I wish I could have done this. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to have to go backwards, but it's not really backwards at all. And the, and the really excellent coaches realize that that's something that's part of training. It's just a part of the training of athletes is that you, you, you do have that cyclical phase. And sometimes, you know, when you think you're ready and the athlete goes and does the skill and you realize that they're missing something that's very significant, uh, you have to go back to basics for a long period of time, uh, which psychologically, like I said, can be kind of frustrating for the athlete. But a, a great coach, you know, has a good enough relationship with their athletes that they can speak and communicate about it. And then the athlete will hopefully, you know, um, not be so frustrated as an entrepreneur you know david and i have had many moments like that where we call them failing forwards um and basically if the failing forward reoccurs over and over and over again you have to identify you know why is that why does that keep on happening to me you know like the only thing you can control is you you know your own reaction to things and your own actions uh they're they're just cannot change somebody else's, um, I guess, behavior, or um, you can't expect somebody else to do something so that you have a different result. You really have to uh, dive in and, you know, be honest with yourself. And, uh, you know, the athlete coach is so much easier, I think, uh, just as um, to compare it, it's very difficult because when you're an entrepreneur, if you don't have a mentor, you're on your own. But if you have a mentor, it's kind of the same relationship. You can ask the mentor, why does this keep on happening over and over and over again? And your mentor, if they're a great one, they're going to know exactly what you have to get back to basics on. And, uh, and so that's, I mean, that's it in a nutshell is, you know, cool. getting back to those basics.